We're going to do a French seam, a quarter inch finished French seam. We will start with a half an inch seam allowance allowed in the pattern. And one of the things about the French seams that's odd is we will take our first pass through the machine with wrong sides together. So I'm going to line my pieces, getting the edges aligned, but wrong sides together. And I will do two different quarter inch seams to total up to be the half of an inch that we're allowed. So my first pass through at a quarter of an inch. And now we need to press. Let the stitches burst. And I do like to press this guy open, even though he's going to end up getting enclosed by another stitch. But I feel like that helps to really flatten everything out and keep me on my proper seam allowances. One final press before I go back to sewing is now getting it flattened back so that the seam I just took is right there at that edge. So closing it back on itself. So I want to make sure that that seam is right there. I don't want any, what I would call, valleys happening. Let's see if I can make a valley happen here. Valleys are when it ends up being sort of like that, where the seam is hiding down in there. Usually they're not that severe, but hopefully you get the picture. Get that seam good and flat and right at the edge so that we can come back to do another row of quarter inch stitching and everything will be enclosed. One final step I take before I do my final row of stitching is trimming off any whiskers. See like I've got this one thread here. I'm going to get rid of him. But if I had some little bits of thread hanging out and I kind of do just a little bit from my tearing. I'm going to trim ever so slightly. I want to maintain as much of that quarter inch seam allowance as I can from the first pass so that it fills the French seam, especially important when we have transparent fabrics, but I also don't want any whiskers poking through my final seam. All right, it's a good little shave. And we'll go stitch now. Quarter? Yes, we're at a quarter of an inch again. Thank you. Forgot to say that, didn't I? <laughs> so two quarters equals a half. And 
How does she look? I'm looking to make sure that I don't have anything peeking out there. And I'll go give it a final press. Set the stitches. And then it's just going to have to be pressed to one side. So always make sure that it's pressed good and flat, that you don't have any sort of valleys happening. And you're all done. Mm -hmm.